Hey, it's Frank here with 4D Honeybee with a follow-up to my previous video, which was the question of why my bees are not making honey. And uh, I thought that I'd found a solution to it, which was that uh, they actually were making honey. They just weren't making it in the honey supers, which technically is correct. But what a lot of YouTube posters advise me is that it really looked like this hive is queenless. And I think they're right. So I make these videos so that I can learn as I go and uh, so that hopefully other people can learn too. And what I learned from that last video is that I'm, I'm way too tunnel visioned on honey production and I wasn't worried enough about or concerned enough about actual bee health. So I did a, an almost full inspection, got to about halfway through the bottom super and I hadn't even checked to see if there was any larva or or eggs so I didn't know if there was a queen in this hive and it as I look at the video and as I see the comments below it really looks like this hive has gone queenless so I'm gonna correct that first off you can see that uh, my inner lid is coming off nicely it's not glued to the top lid anymore and that's because I've removed most of the propolis from it that's what I believe was the cause of it but uh, which was addressed in that previous video too but um, now I could have a queenless hive here in, in middle August, which is a big problem, which basically means that this hive is not going to survive unless I can get a viable queen in it or split it. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to complete that inspection of this hive just to make 100% sure that there isn't either a new queen that's just started laying or um, an old queen that's just not viable. It looks most likely that this hive swarmed on me, uh, which is a surprise and a disappointment because I've got a swarm box up there 20 feet away. But uh, yeah, again, on the, in this top honey super, there's basically nothing happening. I will pull each frame out of here and get the bees off it because I'm going to just take this, this box home. You can see they're not really doing anything, so I'll just end up shaking the bees off and... Uh, taking this box home as I said and um, I'm gonna make a determination today if this hive is queenless is it if it is my preferred way to to handle it right now is that I will um, I will try to get a uh, a frame of eggs from another one of my hives here and put them in in the hopes that uh, that maybe these bees can make a new queen in the in 21 days, and that the queen can lead the uh, hive to survive over winter. Now, part of the reason why I've decided to do that is because I'm actually, as of the next couple of days, I'm going to be away for three weeks, so I can't really tend to this this hive. And you know, if they're going to make a new queen, it's going to take about 21 days, and uh, by the time I get back. Either they will have made a new queen and uh, I can make a new determination on how they're doing or they will not have made a new queen and I will split this hive into my two viable hives. So I'm just making sure I get rid of all the bees off of these frames because I'm going to take this I'm going to take this super box off because they're not using it and it's just more more to have to keep warm as we get into cooler nights now. And then I'm gonna gonna quickly check uh, this the uh, upper brood box here because uh, like I say it's full of honey. It is honey bound but um, But I'm gonna I'm gonna probably take a couple of frames of honey out of this and uh, and extract them tonight and bring them back empty so that if uh, if there is a new queen which there will be soon I hope there will be uh, a couple of empty frames for her to lay new brood. So part of the problem is it is honey bound like this is completely full of honey um, even on frames where. There's only capped honey on the top third. The rest of it is full of nectar. So um, they really don't have any room 
to lay brood. Now I'll get a closer look at the bottom brood box to see if it's the same down there. But as it is right now, even if they did have a new queen that was viable and able to lay, she'd have no space to lay in. So here's a good look at a nice frame that's completely full of nectar, right? About 50% capped honey. So I am looking for a queen because, again, if I find a, a virgin queen or something here, if I go to do the combine of the hives, I'll have to deal with her because we can't be combining a hive with a queen in it in an existing hive with a queen in it because there's going to be a battle and if the bad queen ends up winning then you're going to have another hive that you kill basically so those are the that's what I'm up against now I will probably choose uh, a couple of frames that are completely capped and take those as I said and then I'll uh, I'm just going to pause the video now so that it doesn't go too long. I will have you rejoin me as I get into the bottom brood box inspection to see if I can find a queen or eggs down there. A nice frame of honey, but it's not going to do any good if the bees don't survive. Yeah, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so now I'm doing a full inspection on, uh, on the bottom brood box here. And, um, and I got about halfway through this one and I found one cell, which I believe is this cell, because it's the only plastic, plastic frame, I, I should say, just full of, uh, of swarm cells. And, um, of course that's, that's sort of pretty telltale, but they, they were all small cups that had never been used. So, um, yeah, and I can see the beginning of queen, queen cups here of super seizure cells that won't, weren't there just a few days ago. So I'll show you them in a sec here. They're just in the early stages. You can see one right here and one right there. You see them? Oh, and there's a third one here. So it looks like these bees are trying to make a new queen, but if they don't have any larva, they can't do it, right? Um, I guess they have to have eggs or larva. Sorry about that, guys. They feed them the, uh, the royal jelly and that's what makes the queen. So unless I find larva in here or eggs, they're not going to make another queen. I'm also obviously looking for the queen, but if I don't find eggs or larva, there's no sign of a queen in here. And if there's no sign of a queen, there likely is no queen in here. So, and there are larva here. I am seeing larva, which is great. So, and there's another swarm cell on the bottom here, which I'm not gonna mess with here. Here's a swarm cell there. And you can see this frame does have larva in it. So if they wanna make a new queen, they're making a new queen. Still have lots of drone and they still have time. So again, my worst case scenario for this hive was that there is no queen but there is a queen in it because it's laid these larvae. Can you see them? The sun's behind us, so you might not be able to see them. Let's try to get right in there. So, larva plus new queen cells could mean that they're trying to make a new queen again. Does that mean she's trying to swarm? Maybe, but I don't know how you can know that, right? Um, so I'm looking for advice on that now. So we do have a laying queen in here. She seems to be laying fine at least. 
to some degree. Even though they're not producing honey, they are still producing new bees. So, yeah, and there's more larvae all in this frame as well. So, again, I just don't think I was looking for them last time. And that's probably why I didn't see them. So, I'm going to continue this inspection though and truly tr really try to find the queen. Again, not that it makes a big difference, like this hive obviously has a queen because they've got, you know, larva that's only in its first week of development, right? So, but they're also making new queen cells, so it could be that they're not happy with how the queen is producing. And that could be the case because this hive has been a much slower producer than my other hives. And, um... It just could be that the queen is just not doing her job very well, right? What am I to know? Who am I to say? So I can see more larvae in this frame as well. So about three, three brood frames full of larvae, just a few days away from being capped. So there's definitely a right laying queen in here. <sighs> Not getting stung by bees, but I'm getting bitten by mosquitoes. Okay, so I'm just taking a look for the queen. If you happen to see her, send me a message below as to where you see her. To find the queen, the, the advice that I've been given, and which has worked for me in the past, is just to take a broad look at a frame and look for the types of movement that you associate with the queen, right? The queen and her entourage. Not to sort of try to look at every individual bee but to spot the queen. See how calm these bees are. They got a little riled up when I went through the first box there. And you know what, there's a ton of space here for, for brood, for new brood to be laid, because this frame is completely empty and ready mm -hmm. for brood. So I'm not gonna take the two, um, the two frames of honey that I did take out. I'm gonna put those right back in. And this is odd, they have not built out this side of this frame at all. It's kind of a weird brownie color. I wonder why that is. They've put some honey around the sides, but they haven't filled out this frame at all. And again, maybe that's the issue. Maybe the issue is just that the queen is not uh, a very good queen, and the bees are preparing to make another. Um, I don't know. That's you got to ask the bees about that. Of course, I'd take your advice as you post it. But it just looks like... She's an okay queen, not an amazing queen. And for these bees, it's not good enough. But look at how calm these bees are. Like, uh, they are amazing. A lot of people ask me what, what strand and strain and species they are. And I asked the guy that sold me the bees, but he couldn't really say honestly because he has so many different strands and breeds intermixed that he couldn't tell you but I mean the one thing that we can say for sure is that they're local right they're local to uh, to the Markham area to central Ontario essentially and uh, who knows why they're so calm or, or but I've got three hives and they're all very calm some more than than the others but I can't complain so this is another frame full of honey and a ton of drones. Figures the drones are hanging out by the honey, just gorging themselves. Again, looking for a queen here, but so far I haven't found her. And I know a lot of people recommended that I have my a mentor come out, and I will. I'm gonna try and get my mentor out this week because again, my big concern was that I'm leaving for three weeks and I'm leaving a hive in crisis. It's not as bad a crisis as I, as I thought because there's definitely a laying queen in here. 
Um, so if they don't produce honey, they don't produce honey, and I got to get over that, right? Which I have, or I will. But I mean, the key is to make this hive strong in the hopes that it will survive and flourish in the next year. And I see two more queen cells on here, two more supersedure cells on this side. So I'm going to show them to you up close so that you can see what they look like. They basically look like a big drawn out peanut. And you can see one here. And that's the right position on the frame. So about a third of the way down on a frame that's a couple of frames in from the outside. And there's another one that they're in the process of making right here as well. Where is it? Right there. You see that? Right in the middle of the picture. So they're trying to replace their queen and what I've got to do is just let them replace their queen. Um, and not interfere with that process. It's August, I think, 9th or so. So it's less than ideal because uh, they basically can... I, 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 I've been told now that they can continue to produce brood until October depending on the weather probably but uh, it is getting late in the season right this is another frame full of honey I will remove this burr comb just because it's a pain and just for people that are commenting um, I don't drop burr comb on the ground and I don't put the boxes on the ground I will either uh, put them on put them on uh, uh, in boxes that I have prepared to take the wax or the the frames I will uh, set them on these pallets that I have here so that they're not on the ground I have tarps under the pallets so keeps everything off the ground just because you never know you don't want to you want to keep the hives as hygienic as possible right you put it on the ground and you're you could be introducing mites or pests or something into the hive, right? The other thing is I've never seen a hive beetle yet. Knock on wood. I probably just jinx myself. The bees appear really healthy. I can't see, you know, a, a deformed wing or a mite on them. I will treat them for mites, however. But um, it doesn't seem that health is an issue. This is another frame that's just full of nectar. I'll check one more frame, which looks like it's got a couple more queen supersedure cells. And then I will leave these guys alone. I'll replace their honey, because they do, they do have plenty of room to make brood in this box. And then I'll just let them do what comes naturally to them. Oh, you know what? This frame is all busted, so I won't replace this frame. I'll leave that frame there. I do see two, two supersedure cells on this frame, too. So, all right, so that's it. I'm going to button this back up together, and uh, I probably won't be making another video for three weeks because I am away on vacation. And uh, when I come back, I think either this hive will have recovered. I am going to take that honey super off of it because they're just not producing it and uh, producing any honey and it's probably best just to let them let them work on building brood with probably their new queen because they're making a new queen there's no no doubt about that and uh, yeah come back in three weeks and hopefully they've made this new queen and this queen has made some brood and the box is building in size and strength or not who knows what I'll come back to but thanks for joining me and thanks for all the helpful advice because, the, again, the one thing that I want you to go away from here is to focus on the health of the hive. Even if you're at it to make honey, which I am, um, you're not going to make honey if your bees end up dying because you neglect them. So uh, that's it. Thanks for joining me. It's Frank at 40 Honeybee. I will not forget these frames. This isn't from the top box and this is from the bottom box, as I usually do. I usually forget something, but this time I'll remember them all. And again... The comments are appreciated because I'm learning uh, from them. So thanks for joining me at 4D Honeybee.